Well, there's nothing left to distract me anymore. Well, there are two things left to distract me, but we'll save those for later. Hello, guys! This is Universal Giant. Welcome back for more of Super Mario Sunshine. Last time, we finished off a lot of the stuff we had to do around Delfino Plaza now that we've unlocked Yoshi and the extra nozzles. And we finished off one shine we had left to do in Rico Harbor. Today, we're going to be heading into a new level. And this is the one that we needed Yoshi to eat the pineapple off of. Sirena Beach. And this is an interesting one. I've mentioned that there isn't a single boss fight in this game for anyone to like, really. And... This one, I will admit, I do like. Is Do I have the... Is this not a blue coin? I thought it was a blue coin. No? That's interesting. Could have sworn it was a blue coin. A lot of blue coins in this level are particularly weird. Like, one of them is underneath one of these. And I don't want to get the coins because I'm afraid I'll need them. Or maybe it's under here later. I guess it's under here later. You know, let's just do it. Now, I feel like this boss is based on, I don't know if it's a Goosebumps book or something. Maybe it was a mythological creature, I don't remember. But not only is this goop electrified, it's this big manta ray that's causing it. And it essentially makes a silhouette over anything it passes. Now, touching this thing will hurt you, but in addition... Maybe I can get some quick sprays going here, too. Because the quick sprays are super duper helpful. If I can get enough damage on this guy that it actually helps. Because the quick sprays are really the easiest way to get rid of this guy. And holy crap, the lag. If I can get these going... Doing the spinning is also really helpful. Unfortunately, if you get ricocheted back into something, there's really not much you can do about it. But usually, spinning around like this is one of the most efficient ways to get things all around you. And if I can actually jump and not ricochet everywhere, every which way we're going... And see, this is why leaving coins is super... Where the hell am I going? I have no control over what's going on. So coins, underneath this is probably the safest place for you in the entire level because there is nowhere for them to hit you if you're completely concealed under the, one of those things. Unfortunately, there is very little room for you to maneuver for extra space if you happen to get knocked back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And if I go up here, it looks kind of safe, except they can follow you up there too. And I don't know where they're all going. I usually have hit them all by now, so finding the ones that I didn't get is usually not an issue until they get small enough where it's not an issue. But you have to break them down into small enough units that they will start chasing you. Because they would be too much of a pain to go after if they all stayed that way. That if they continued going across the map all haphazardly, even when they were all that tiny and there were so many of them, it would be a huge pain in the ass to have to find them all. So they make it so that they chase you down to make it easier on you. And if I can get a couple of those quick sprays, it would be super easy to take a lot of them out all at once. Unfortunately, I'm not very good at it. So we'll just be doing this for a little while. But I feel like this shine in particular scared a lot of people as a kid, because it was really difficult to do if you let it get out of control. And I can understand that. But... I think it's one of the cooler ones. It's one of the most iconic points in the game that you always remember back to. And you gotta give credit to the game 
for giving you such a memorable shine based on cleaning up paint with the water gun. You really got to give them props. So that's the Manta Storm. Gave me more trouble than it usually does, but I guess you wouldn't expect anything less, right? And before we head back in there, let's see how many of the blue coins outside of the hotel I remember to get. Because there's really only, I think, one shine left outside of the hotel and everything else takes place inside. Which is a shame, because the beach at sunset is a really pretty place. Like, this is the first venue we've been to that hasn't been broad daylight. You can see Peanut Park out in the distance, you have the sunset going, it's really nice! I just seem to remember that there is one blue coin out here, I think? If I can start jump diving to it. But I'll pretend that's faster, even though at the speed I'm going it's probably not. I think there's a blue coin out here. No, there's an invisible wall preventing me from going there. It's probably on the other side. So I wasted everybody's time. Is anyone surprised at this point? How many times am I going to say is anybody surprised at this point? Because I feel like I've been saying that a lot more often than I should have. I also don't think there's anything sprayable on the beach, but I could be mistaken. I do seem to remember there's a blue coin all the way out here, because how are you supposed to know to look if the sand down here is so blue that you can barely see the coin? But I guess... Well, I was going to say I guess I might as well spray the sand around here, but there's not going to be anything, because there's a mission where you have to do that, and there's nothing there. So it would be kind of silly if there was. And there's usually... Graffiti over there. Maybe it's only in a specific mission. Well, one of these is a blue coin. And it was the wrong one. And there are also a number of torches you need to spray in order to get the blue coin. Now, you don't have to spray the torch out. You kind of have to spray in front of it or something. And... I want to say it's... I guess it's on the other side because it's not that one. Yeah, there it is. And there should be another one like it on the other side. I also want to say one of those boxes at the beginning has a blue coin as well. At least one of them has a one-off. As if we need the one-off. I guess we'll take the one-off. If the one-off doesn't go into the wall, we'll take it. And there should be... I think there's one on the top of the hotel, but I don't remember if it's in one of the torches or if it's actually on top of the hotel. Oh, there it is. I don't think there are any in the torches. And I also think either spraying inside that or spraying the fountain is a blue coin. I don't think this one is, though. I don't know if any of those are actually blue coins. You'd think they would be, for some reason. I guess there are a couple that we can't get yet, which is kind of weird. You know what, I feel like trying the sign in the front again. Maybe that one has a blue coin now. When it didn't before. Yeah, it does. I sprayed there last time, it wasn't there. This time, it does. Don't ask me why. If I knew, I would complain about it. But the only other torch we didn't try, I think, is the one up there. And I don't think that is a blue coin. So we'll head inside. So this hotel. Where do I even begin? One of these has a blue coin, too. But I don't remember which one. Maybe they all have yellow coins, and I'm just not paying attention. So we have booze! Booze, 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 booze. Not that kind of booze. I know I'm disappointed, too. 
We can go in the women's bathroom. There's nothing here, unfortunately. And you can talk to... Oh, there's usually a woman in there we can talk to. But the stairs are closed for some silly reason. I don't know why, but they're closed. I thought there would be a blue coin in here. The booze that are pink, you can spray like that, and you can make them into platforms. I don't know why I sprayed that one in particular, because the wall jumping I want to do, he's going to get in the way of. So I guess we can wait for him to disappear, or we can try to... Yeah, we're going to have to wait for him to disappear. I was hoping that I could try to do this the fancy way, and I think I'm wall jumping off of the correct side. Although I do not actually remember. He's there for a longer time than I thought he was. Alright, so let's try doing this the fancy way. No, didn't make it. So let's try this the fancy way again. I don't know how people are able to wall jump off of that, because I certainly can't seem to get it going. Come on, Mario. I jumped off of the boot? I want to do this the fancy way. I will do this the fancy way. Maybe I'll just regular wall check. Nope, the boot's gonna get in the way. Okay, boot. Fancy way. No. I keep grabbing that ledge, and I don't need to. I don't want to grab that ledge. I want to wall kick off of the fence. Maybe I'll just stay down a little bit? Yeah, I guess I can slide down the center pole a little bit. You're supposed to spray these guys in order to... Oh, screw it. You're supposed to spray them in order to get up to the next level so you can use them on the platform. And I was hoping to platform off of the center thing so I could jump straight into the mouth of the boo. That's apparently not going to happen, so... We'll be doing this the... I'm not doing it the old-fashioned way. I want to do it the way it was not intended to be done. But the platform's going to keep getting... I don't know why I insist on doing it this way. It's faster and it looks cooler and I prefer wall jumping the platform off of the booze. Is that so difficult to understand? I keep grabbing that ledge when I want to wall kick off of it. Would you stop doing that? Fine. You insist on doing it that way, we will do it that way. Or we won't do it that way. We'll do it the old-fashioned way. Also, that guy's not a blue coin, that's a boo. And he has a regular coin. And he's a dick for it. We'll be seeing a lot more boos in this level, to be sure. Not in this secret, though. If this is what I think it is, which it's not, but it's still annoying... This might be the rest of the episode right here. I'm not used to coming into that cut scene without seeing a lost life. I'm used to coming into here and seeing my life count go down by one, just like it is there. So that's more fitting, I guess. Those guys, I assume, were out of place because I didn't... or I because I watched the cutscene. I'm not used to watching the cutscene. I'm used to being able to make that jump. So these guys! You remember these guys! Everyone remembers them. At least I don't. But this part is not too difficult. It's the part after this that gets difficult. And this is where, when I didn't have a controller that could run forward at full speed, was really, really irritating. Because not being able to run that at full speed and having to jump for every single sand block is just ridiculously hard. So we can go down this way. I think one of these has a life underneath it. I don't care to risk... <sighs> All right. Let's not do this the stupid way. You remember the stupid way? We did it the stupid way before. Let's not do it the stupid way. There we go. I like when I don't do things the stupid way. The stupid way is overrated and stupid. And also stupid. And overrated. And stupid! I'm also tilting my head to the left for some reason because I think it'll help me. I don't know why I think that because I should be able to jump this. And this is where things get a little bit annoying because you have to be able to tell where you're going and I am so looking forward to doing that again with the red coins. It's not funny. You have no idea. Let's head back. Got it! Suck it, game! So, red coins. This is harder than I remember it, I think. Well, it wasn't... Uh, 
I don't remember how most of these red coins go. There's really only one red coin mission in the game in regards to secrets that gives me a lot of trouble. And I assume everyone knows what we're talking about, but it's not this one. So, we'll see how that goes. But the red coin starts up here. And thankfully, none of the red coins are on the bottom path. That would have been a real pain in the neck to do. So they didn't do it that way, and thankfully they didn't do it that way. So there's that one. I think there may or may not be one in the ice block. There shouldn't be. I just forget if it's underneath one of these, or where it is. Maybe it is underneath the ice block. I actually forget. I think it's... yeah, it's right here. So, good luck finding that if you're not looking for it. And of course you can destroy that block. And then, I went through the block! Holy crap! I hope we only have five here. Okay, good. We have plenty of time to get these. So there's that one gotten. I hope I can get back for the others. The thing is, if I don't... Oh my god. One more. One more. One more block. The thing is, I want to make sure I'm able to stop on the block. And able to make a jump off of it before it disappears. That is my biggest concern. And... I guess that's it for this one. This is Universal Giant, and next time we'll continue Sirena Beach. See you then.